Right guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm just going to be showing you how to fit a quick link, or missing link, there, to your chain. So if you wonder how to do it, I'll go ahead and we'll run through the steps. Right, so to fit the missing link, like these, there, to your chain, first thing to do is if you just select the lowest sprocket on the back, so your 11 tooth on the back, and your smallest at the front, just to allow, so there's not so much tension on the chain, in this position before you start and then if you can it's not necessary uh, not necessary but if, if you can see which pin was used to join the chain together in the first place so if you can find that pin then you can remove that one so on this one you can see that these the original ones these are original like so and then you can see there that one is the one that's been pressed in when the chain is cut to length and joined together so we can go ahead we can put, uh, push this one out so I'll go ahead I'll show you how to do that now right so to go ahead and remove your pin from your chain you need a chain pin remover like so various makes available these use just wind it back out like so so wind the handle wind that back and then what you want to do is this piece in the middle that there that slides goes in between the chain links so you just slide that up in there like so make sure it's seated and then you just wind your handle like so So it's central make sure the pin is central to the pin that you want to remove it's not going in crooked or anything like that so once you're happy with it then you can apply some pressure to it and it will be tight you don't you can't just undo it easily it will be tight to start with so normally you've got to hold on to it tight it will just pop through as it goes. If it needs readjusting, just take it off, readjust it again. Make sure it's going through. You're pushing out nice and square. There you go. So it's initially gone through the outer piece of the chain, then it'll go slack. You just keep pushing the pin, and as you see. It's coming out the back there. Now bear in mind that obviously the chain when you push this through push it right through keep on going until it comes clean out the other side and now basically this acts as the pin and the pins come out the back there as you can see there so you want to hold on when you undo this you can put a piece of wire between either side if you want to hold the chain while you undo this so obviously once you undo this that's why you said put the derailleur into the lowest at the back so it takes some of the tension off and you can just undo it all the way out like so and there we have the chain obviously we're left with two ends like that a male and a female end so obviously we need two male ends like this to put the quick link through so this end will stay like it is the male end so we can let that go let it hang and we want to do the same with this pin here to remove the two outer parts of the chain so we're left with another male end so you have to do the same thing again get your tool again wind it back out place it over there like so do it back up until you're happy that it's going to push the pin out nice and straight like so once you're happy with it you go ahead apply some pressure to it You'll just feel it go. 
as it goes through and then it'll become easy and you can just push the chain link pin out of the back of the chain like so and back your tool off like so and there we have it we've got two male ends like so so then you can go ahead and get your quick link missing link out of the packet and I'll go ahead and just show you how to put that in right so here we have the missing link the two parts there that act as your chain links and what you need to do is get yourself a pair of quick link pliers, missing link pliers like these like so they come in various makes various styles some of these some of them come with three of these on them and some just have two so what you want to do is get your, get your parts of your chain if you've got one side and all you do is clip that in to chain that side and you can leave it hanging get your other side put this on the opposite side pop that in like so you can just hold on to that like that and then get your other end of your chain like so now you're going to be pulling against the dralia spring as you can see put it together then what you want to do is the holes are elongated as you can see so you start in the bigger part of the hole like so, so it clips in like that and same on the opposite side then once they're both together like so you can pull them backwards and they go into the, the smaller part stops them coming back apart now some of them are tighter than others some of them you would have to you couldn't just pull it together like that you need the pliers and what you've got to do is open them out like so and put it either side of the link like so then open them outwards so effectively you're starting slightly in and open them and it'll pull the quick link together and then to take the quick link apart with these pliers just put it either side of the link like so and then squeeze the pliers together obviously what you want to do is make sure you're holding on to both sides of the chain you can, like I said, put a piece of wire between here and here with a spring in it. You can get those tools there that just hold the chain while you're doing it. But it's not necessary. You can just hold on to it so you won't be able to see very well. So I've got to hold on both sides. And then when you squeeze the pliers, you see, squeezed. And there, there is, comes apart. Easy as that. And then like I showed earlier, to put it together, just get both both parts of the chain. Put them, put them in like so, and then you can pull. All I do is I'll, I'll put it together using the pliers. So you put the pliers either side of it, like I showed earlier, and then open the pliers up, and it's installed like so. So very easy to put in. Say so some of them can be harder. You just need a tool to do it with to take it in and out to start with but ever so easy to install and obviously it makes your chain a lot easier to remove for cleaning maintenance purposes you can just take your chain off put in um, some degreaser and leave your chain soaking things like that it just makes it a lot easier you can take your back wheel out just take the chain off take your back wheel out you can do you know a lot easier for maintenance anyways keep a check on your chain and keep it in top condition they're very handy to fit so that's how you install one. Right, so there's the installation complete on the bike. So very easy to do. If you found the uh, video helpful in any way, remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more cycle-related content. Until the next one, ride safe and I'll see you then.